My name is Yi Changxu from University of Science and Technology of China. Let me quickly go through this paper. It is authored by Yi Changxu and Ming from USTC and Ming Hongfang and Neil Zheng Xianggong from Duke. This is the background of the paper. I will introduce client side data distribution and inference attack in federated learning using an example of training a several time data set. Suppose we have 10 clients training on several time and the client's eye trains images of label I. Client 0 is malicious and he wants to know how images of label 3 look like. In each training round, client 0 poisons the global model to make the victim client, client 3 leak sensitive information about its images. Finally, client 0 successfully generated images of label 3 using a generator and he knows label 3 represents cat. There is no effective defense against this attack. We also find that balancing robust aggregation rules cannot filter malicious model updates well. This feature shows whether the malicious model update is aggregated in each global round. The indicator is 1 if the malicious model update is mistakenly aggregated. We can find that multicrum fails to filter malicious model updates in almost each global round. While our proposed infraguard works well after the attacker starts to attack at the 50th global round. Now I will introduce core steps of our method. After receiving model updates from n clients at the 10th global round, the server first computes the coordinate wise median of them. To filter out malicious model updates, the server removes model updates that are far away from the median. If the IL2 distance is no larger than the threshold, Lambda times the IL2 norm of G media, the client is considered as benign and added to set H. If H is empty, we simply add the client whose model update is closest to G median T to H. The aggregated model update is the median of model updates in H. We conducted experiments on five datasets, 10 baseline aggregation rules, and measured the attack performance using three metrics. This is a visualization of the attack on MNIST. We can see that after our defense, the attacker fails to generate clear images. The table records three evaluation metrics on 10 baselines together with InfraGuard on MNIST. It also reveals that InfraGuard is the most effective. We also tested our method on membership inference attack on loc location 30. In table 4, we show the model accuracy and attack accuracy after different aggregation rules. We find that our method has the lowest attack accuracy and thus the largest model accuracy. This is the pre presentation of our paper. Thanks for listening.